So what I've done here is I've, uh, these buckles, they ratchet really good, they're secure, but they sort of dig in, they dig in a bit for me. So what I've done is I've put a new ratchet on from a giant shoe, it just sits a bit more flush, it's a little bit more low profile and it doesn't seem to pinch in as much. Just stole off really shoe. Uh, these are a good shoe, I like these shoes, but these are way too narrow for me. And the stiffness is good, could be a fruit in there. Uh, I like these. Yeah, but those are my list, but they're so narrow. So you see the bond here, obviously this is a bigger shoe, but you see the bit more of a pointy traditional style, which cramps your foot, but the bond a bit wider. This is that not this is a standard fit. I can't get wide fit in Australia. Uh then I can't get them online, so I'll when I'm in the US I'll get a pair wide fit. And just give these away. But the yeah, the power transfer is really, really good. The light buckle system I don't like on the bond. Uh, I'd prefer a boa. The boa just fits the shoe better for me. So I'm going to buy some of these giant or some city ratchets and then uh, customise a bit more. But otherwise, I'm enjoying them. And size wise, I run a 44 in the Vapor Plus Road shoe, but it's a 45, so you can't really ever go by numbers. You've got to actually try the shoe on and see what you like. Uh, it's hard to get bonts in Australia, uh, very limited. Even though it's an Australian uh, design, uh, start, startup company, they're made in China. Yeah, but it's just really hard to get a uh, bond product in Australia width wise and, and colours and stuff unfortunately and there's a uh, pretty strict online shipping so you, if you're in the US you, you're laughing even though it's an Aussie company <laughs> it's hard to get the product in Australia I emailed the main distributor and they said oh a couple of months we might have some wides in them like well I need some shoes this week preferably but uh, I like the finish I like the gloss but man, that'd be cool if they made like a, a, a nice wide shoe with the, the, the bows, a few colour op, op, uh, options. But we'll do what we can do. The aeration feels pretty good of the shoe as well. It's, uh, it's definitely robust. It's robust, but still pretty lightweight and it feels fast. I like the width. I'm going to get them custom molded today. Uh, you, you heat them up basically, you take your cleats off, put a special sock on and just sort of like get a screwdriver through then push it, push out the edges so it can make it a little bit wider. So the straps are replaceable. That's, that's a good system. The bowers are replaceable, straps are replaceable. If you break or anything wearing out, just buy a new one. Someone's like, oh, my shoe's fucked, you know, just snap the strap. Just get a new one, mate. You know, just a couple of bucks. You know, you, you fuck your ratchet, you smash on a rock or whatever, or it just wears out. Just get a new one. These shoes will last you years. If it, if it unstitches, just get it stitched back up. If it unglues, just glue it back on. If you wear out a bit here, just get a new one on there. You can even chunk cut off a bit of the old sneaker and uh, unscrew this and screw it through again and put the old shoe on there so this these shoes are gonna last a long time except if you if you crack them in the half i'm not sure how you do that but uh i've done that before with carbon shoes but that's after many 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 thousands of miles of usage but otherwise the mountain bike shoe very very durable so basically this, this you can feel the carbon goes all the way up around there so it wraps around your foot provides a very secure fit and again it's heat moldable heat moldable uh, so that makes them reasonably customizable so you can feel that all the way around the carbon sort of like a carbon what you call it, a cockpit or a chassis you can see it in there and the first rider sort of cracked it in here that's just the rubber so that doesn't affect the performance at all Again, these, these are just a wear out item. And you could even customize it with a bit of your own chunk of rubber in there. But it's cracked in there, but that's, you know, there's no, there's no, uh, that's not, not going to cause any any loss of performance. It'll probably actually last quite a while. One might snap off, but it's, the main thing is still there. Again, fully replaceable though. So if you do wear these out, undo the screws, put new ones on. You see my cleat set up. I run a pretty fair back. I might even drill some holes in here, bring it back. That's just my personal preference. I don't really recommend that. Obviously, if you work, drill into a shoe, you avoid the warranty. But, uh, you know, I like to experiment with things. And my cleats, you can see them, got a pointed in, which I like to have my heels in. And uh, it's personal preference. I'll put, once I'm happy with my cleat set up, I'll put some liquid paper marker around there so then I can have a little reference point. But uh, it's pretty easy. I've got them jammed right back, pointing in a little bit. And it's good to go. You can even put some, uh, some sprigs in here, potentially, looks like. Some soccer sprigs, street fight ready.